What's going on everybody? Gundam Flexing here. And this is War Tech Fighters, otherwise known as WTF. Now you can find this game on Steam for around $15. So this is the full release of the game. I think it was released on the 25th. So they have a ton of upgradable items, uh, improved graphics, and increased gameplay. Uh, this is my mech right here. This is the Fury. Looks like something off Berserk, the anime. Uh, I also think this here stands for monster But yeah, this game has like a ton of gameplay I think they brought it from six hours to 20 over a hundred upgradable parts and Yes improved graphics, which I sort of spoiled myself I decided to go in the simulator here do the, some of the challenges Crushed as much as I could did a lot of research and played a couple missions where I upgraded my war tech fighter where I upgraded my fury right here here it is. I think I went, I played these three missions and now we're stuck on a voice in the dark. Uh, so what I found out from playing these three missions um, is that my mech is incredibly uh, lopsided. So it's very powerful, I think, in attack, but very weak in defense. But we're going to play this mission and then hopefully I'll have enough money. Uh, let's see how much money I actually do have. I have 300. <laughs> I have 353. What is this? Light projection? Eh, why not? Uh, just waste the money right here. But yes, let's do this one mission. See how far I could go. Launch my War Tech. Yes, please. But yeah, man, the graphics definitely improved in the War Tech Fighters. And this is one of the few games you could play on keyboard and mouse, which sort of makes sense. It's a lot better than playing keyboard on mouse than on a gamepad. Oh no, what's going on? The stress signal. Oh no. Roger, I'll go check it out. And this is my partner. So let's check this out. Look at the look at these streams from the thruster. I think the graphics has definitely been upgraded then. Which is nice. This is Captain blah blah blah. This is a minor joy. Oh, they need our help. Yeah, okay. What's up? Our colony's been ready. Oh, okay, an operative. Oh, Alright, okay, cool stuff, good stuff. As long as there's money at the end so I can upgrade my mech. Uh, oh, am I stuck? No, I'm not. Yeah, this game, you could also put it in first-person view. I haven't tried it. I like the third person. I sort of like watching all the lights and everything. It sort of reminds me of that home world game. Right there. All right, we're 100 meters away. So, restore the power source. Uh, this usually involves beams, and this is sort of like the puzzle part of the game. Um, so, it just takes a little time. So, it faces this way. There is a mirror, and the point of this is to shoot... Uh, shoot light into it and usually it's from some source that's nearby so we're going to look for that source that shoots off the rocks oh there it is right here and yes let's turn it oh okay what's up we're going to turn it again and it should bounce off the mirror Oh, oh, rocks in the way. There it is. Gravity. Oh no, another rock's in the way. Bounce that off. And it should... Oh, come on. Bad rock. Let's just shoot this thing out of the way. I'm wasting a ton of energy right here. Nice. That's one of three. And wait, wait till we get to the actual dogfights. This game is pretty cool in terms of dogfighting. Uh, yeah, it's just, there's not that many mech games on PC, so this is probably by far the best one out there, in my opinion. In my opinion, because it's very futuristic, graphic-wise. Uh, restore the power source. So again, you basically reverse follow, so this rock is in the way. Asteroid, whatever. Meteor, whatever. There you go, knock it out of the way. Here is something. Let's turn it. Oh, uh, okay, so it has a mirror. Obviously, we want the mirror to face the energy right there. So it booms down to there. So where else could it be launched from? Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, there's one right there. So most likely it shoots the beam at that angle. So let's try this one. Let's turn it. Turn it. I think this should be good. It aims right there. 
Oh no, oh no, I'm sorry. That was a bad, bad, bad turn, bad turn. Hit my boy. There you go, this should be it. Huh. Oh no, there's a mirror right there. Okay, I'm sorry. So no, we're going to turn it the other way. Thank you for your patience, guys. There we go. Shoots off, and the mirror is blocked by the rock. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh lord. By the way, this mech, my fury, has a... Yes, oh, it's in the way. My fury only has missiles and uh, and heavy attack. And the heavy attack is heavy. I do tons of damage. So there's one more, and it's located here. Look at that stream, just from the thrusters. It's beautiful. Just like the, woo! All right, here we go. Alright, this is the last one. So let's turn, look at this, there's a mirror here. It's followed by here, and this is probably another mirror, because it's, it's sort of like elevating in difficulty. And we turn it one more time. I think, because that way it'll bounce off and hit the mirror over there. So then there's another source here, and this is a mirror. Uh, I think the mirror should be facing one other way. I think that's good. And that is a power source. Alright. With a rock in the way. There we go. Ooh, mission success. Oh, what the heck? Oh, ooh, another rock. Let's bounce into this rock right. Urgh. That's right, 3 of 3. Now we're going back to the mission point. Yeah, I've upgraded Fury so much. Like, if you look at the bottom right, uh, the heads-up display, the radar, I basically expend no energy using a thrust, which is pretty intense. Oh, look, to the mining fleet. We're complete. Where's my money? Let's all go shopping. Yes, I like it. Mining Corporation thanks you. Uh-oh. The Zatros Command has just been informed of your position and... Okay, awesome. Yeah, we didn't ask to be intercepted. Uh-oh. Looks like there is some issues with our payment. You son of a broken toaster. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh Look at that. Look at those missiles, man. It's just beautiful. Huge. A huge step up from... Uh... Huge step up from... Sorry. <laughs> it's a huge step up from the uh, previous... Uh-oh. What's going on? From when I first uploaded the, the game, I think like six months ago. Uh oh, okay. So whenever I take heavy fire and I don't know where it's coming from. Oh no. Oh, that's actually a lot of enemies on the battlefield. Uh oh, oh no. Oh, okay. So whenever, like I said, whenever there are a huge amount of enemy. Oh, that guy's stuck. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, good stuff. All right, now I'm just going to camp here and just take advantage of him. Silly ship. Yeah, if you if if you if you get this game and you find yourself stuck, uh, specifically if you're overwhelmed by too many enemies, um, the best deal is to just fly away. Wow, what is that? Oh wow, what is that? Is to fly away. Oh my God, what is that? Ooh, ooh. But yeah, so the idea is if you get overwhelmed, fly away first and then come back because the enemy will chase you to the edge of the map and uh, they, they pretty much streamline themselves they won't jump you all right so let's let's take care of all these specialty ships real quick <laughs> i just think that's hilarious that ship is stuck okay so where's the bigger one where is the one that gives us the most problems where are they they're heading our way all right i think those are it right there so we want what we want to do is just have my partner and I stand all the way back and let the enemy come to us. This map is huge. Huge. All right, here they come. They're probably, they're at my 12. Okay. So shields up. Execute. Remember, in this game, you could execute. Oh, man, I killed these guys way too fast. All right, so every time you execute, you get back a little piece of health. So with those smaller ships, you really want to take advantage of it and execute them as much as possible. There it is, there it is. Okay, I just pretty much stripped that ship of everything. 
You could also shoot down the missiles, which I find pretty difficult to do. This ship here has a bunch of shields, so you have to pretty much Kamehameha. Look at that! Mmm! That's gonna be a good screen cover right there. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Uh oh, he's stripped. Uh, uh. Oh, Lord! There it is. Boom. So we have smaller ships on the way. I don't know where they're at. I think that's one right there. Oh, I think that's the one that was stripping my energy. Oh, no, he's just a mech. Never mind. Yeah, my heavy attack does kudos amount of damage. My missiles do kudos amount of damage. I upgraded it to the max pretty much. I shoot a lot more missiles than uh, than I once did. Alright, so there's another enemy. Just watch his health go down. Have to watch my own health. And now I'm out of... So whenever I'm out of energy, I just pretty much... I fly away. I fly away and wait for my energy to regain. Uh, usually my partner is able to catch up. Oh, no. He's actually doing all the work. Haha, <laughs> that's right. There you go. Execute, get some health. Execute, get some health. Stabbed it. Nice. -er. It's a great feature in this game. Oh, here's another one. Execute. Oh, that's right. Alright, there it is. This game also has auto lock, which is incredibly helpful because a lot goes on. Alright, so there you go. We destroyed. And these, these rocks here give you extra money, which I desperately need so I can just continue. Continue building up my war tech so he's just so OP where every map I go in I just pretty much tramp them all and just stomp them. Give him that good old curb stomp. Oh, there's another rock. Wow, this is pretty far out. Jesus. I actually never tried to go to the edge of the map. Oh, nice. My partner... <laughs> This ship is hilarious. It just got stuck. Like, who's a pilot of that ship? Fail, man. Goodbye, ship. Oh, no. Not yet. Now it's goodbye. Give me that money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's attacking me. Who? who who's it? Oh, well. oh, wow. They've gotten closer. Alright. So it's time to put it into work, guys. Oh, there's more ships. Look how easily I just stomp these guys. It's awesome. Uh oh. Alright, there he goes. Let me take some of my health. So basically, these ships will give you extra money if you destroy them. I guess because they're like cargo container ships, which is awesome. Because I'm just getting. I'm just racking up the points. Look at that. 1700 already. Please make it 18. Yes! <laughs> just look at this ship. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just weird. Alright, so these two battleships are actually, from memory, if memory serves me right, they're actually pretty easy to defeat. Um, pretty much they're just, I don't know, like duck in the water, you know, ducks in the water, or, or ducks in a barrel, or a fish in a barrel, whatever, you know, same thing. Because they'll just wait for you to come, and so whenever you're low on health or whatever, you could just, uh, just run, like run back. You could run back and uh, just regain health, find barrels of health. There it is. So I'm low on energy. I'll come back, put myself at a good distance from all the missiles, because the missiles will stop. And you can also shoot them out of the sky, or out of the space, I guess that's the correct term. And here we go. Let's see if we can execute this ship. I think we can. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this ship is in trouble now. Uh-oh. Oh, Lord! Let's fly away real quick. Alright, let's strip the other ship before... Wow. I think this is the same type of ship that, uh... They just haven't been upgraded, because I'm just, like, running train on these guys. They barely do any damage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that was gross. I shouldn't have done that in the mic. Probably got some of y'all sick. There you go. There you go. Easy money, guys. Easy money. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the ship's about to be gone. 
Okay, how many more parts of this ship do I have to destroy? Uh oh, here we go. Mass execution. Oh yes. I did it all by myself. You could also command your uh, partner to destroy the other ship or to attack certain parts of the ship and he'll do it. Um, but yeah, I don't really need his help. As a matter of fact, I could tell him to go home. I'm just, I'm the man. I'm the man. Uh, where else? Where else? On this side? <clears throat> uh oh. Decrease. Okay, wow, I cannot hit that. Doo -doo -doo -doo. That's like 80s rock and roll music. Where else can I destroy? Oh, it's in the back. So basically, again, he's just, he's a dead fish in the water, man. He's just dead, yo. Uh, destroyed all his weapons, he can't do anything. One more target, and then he's done. Where is it? Oh, right there. Execution. I would be terrified to fight someone like this. Boom. Uh-oh, new enemies. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Uh-oh. So, the strategy when you fight mechs, especially because what I've noticed in this game is that mech bosses are very OP. You have to get a good distance. Do not engage unless if you know you maxed out your melee weapon because I, I remember I fought a mech and he had some sort of like shield and sword that gave him health every time he hit me. And the, I must have battled him for 20 minutes and still lost because I just couldn't take his health out. So the idea is, wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me go into the options because now I actually need to learn how to tell my enemy. Yeah. So C is to give your allies orders. So C. There it is. And now we just get our distance. We get our distance, boys. Okay. Now look at my health. My health pretty much became nothing, so I have to fly away. Uh oh. Boom, so there it is. I got destroyed. I got crushed actually. This guy is quite powerful, so who knows, maybe hit and run tactics. I remember one time I had a, uh, I remember one time I was against a boss in a mech and all I did was I abused the uh, the AI and I just stayed behind a rock and only popped my head out and hit him and there was no way he could hit me back. Wait, wait, where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, good god, he has a shield! That's awkward. Can I come out my own then this far? Okay, here we go. I need to expend all my rockets, everything, everything I have on this man. Everything. Okay, now I ran out of energy. Ooh, Jesus, that did a lot of damage. All the health packs are actually on the other side. I want to sort of stay full on my health. I don't know if my ships actually do anything. Uh, there's another health pack. I'm just going to wait my energy to come back. Oh, my guess. Shields up. I got to do the Kamehameha. Oh, God. <laughs> the missiles are after me. Oh, what is this? Do I get more money? Yes, I do. Oh, that's awesome. All right. All right, where else? Aha, so while my partner is fighting him, I'm gonna get all the money. Oh gosh, here he comes, guys. Here he comes, let me run. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no, run, everybody! Run! There you go, got some money from that. Believe me, guys. Oh, we got one more left? Where? Goodness, all right, where is he? All right, let's do the Kamehameha, gentlemen. Let's wait till he's close enough. Okay, don't know if that's close enough. That's probably close enough. Okay, there we go, now let's unleash, unload on him. Let's just unload on this man. Unfortunately, I'm the only one with the Kamehameha and my partner can't do it. Okay, now, 
Now it's time to run away. Let's get some health. There's some health right there. And let's regain my energy. Uh, I'd rather have full health when I engage him. Oh god, here he is. He's just chasing me. Lord, leave me alone! Oh look, more rocks to destroy. Excellent. Oh no, that's his health. Shields up, shields up, shields up, shields up. Right, here we go. We could, we're about to have energy. Ah, uh, let me outrun these missiles. Look at that, look at that fancy maneuver. Alright, here we go. There he goes, unload on him. Let's unload, unload on him, baby. Oh, you're tired of wasting your time. We'll see you again. Oh, I thought I had him. The coward ran and he didn't want to face me because I'm just that good, guys. Uh, no big deal. <laughs> Look at that ship. It's still stuck in the side. All right, mission complete. Nice. Nice. 6,000. Woo, that's a lot of cash. And I'm going to blow it all on uh, probably defense. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever sounds good, I'll buy it. Excellent, excellent. I'm not really paying attention to the storyline. All I want to do is just destroy things. All right, I'm level 20. Oh, what is this? Hunting season. Oh, okay, so there's two levels after this. Cool, cool. Let's look at my upgrades. There is one upgrade I really want to uh, try out, and it is the Reaper right here, but it requires uh, antimatter technology. But if I click here, Here's antimatter technology, requires antimatter project. I don't know what that is. I've already searched all the uh, all the options available and unfortunately can't really find it. So I think I have to probably play one of the missions back or maybe it's just uh, uh, something that I just haven't gotten to because I haven't beaten the level yet. So, but yes, this is going to, I'm gonna actually put my money into research. Uh, let's see here. See, I don't, I don't have any fast weapons, so it's a waste of money. Don't really use my sword attacks. Uh, increase missile search precision by ten. Not really worth it. I usually upgrade. I just go straight to the specials since there's just so a heavy weapon viewfinder increased by twenty percent. To me, that's a good deal. Like overall aiming system increased by five percent. To me, that's a great deal. The auto lock increases that great. Yeah, yeah. Cause this all, all I am is heavy weapons. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. You could get this game or Tech Fighters off Steam for $15. It, the full release was released on July 25th. Highly recommend this game. This is going to be probably one of the best mech games that you have for the PC. And the developers are continually making new stuff, pushing out new products, uh, always improving the game. But that's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next War Tech Fighters video. Peace out, guys.